Hello everyone, my name is Adam and welcome back to Flip Flop. Alright, you saw the title, you know why you're here. We are back with more Choosing Beggars content. Before we jump in, friendly reminder, please subscribe if you haven't yet. It's completely free and really helps out. Alright, let's get started. Alright, starting off with a longer one today. Homeless guy wants way too much from a college student. So I headed into town a while back with my friend and on the way to a shop, a Homeless guy stops us in the middle of the street and asks us for some spare change. At the time, I only had notes on me and I didn't want to give him those. My friend f says first that he didn't have any money to give him. Then the guy turns to me and I hesitate. At this point, it's too late to say that I won't give him money without it seeming like I have money to offer but won't give him it. So I say I don't have anything I can give him and he says maybe I can do cash back. Pro-life tip, if a homeless guy asks you if you can maybe do cash back, ditch him. He's trying to scam you. I, however, forgot this rule and ended up shooting myself in the foot here. There was a shopping center right beside where we were, and he said there was a supermarket in there that probably could do cash back. I reluctantly agreed and we went in. I asked him how much this shelter cost and he said it cost about 50 euro for a week for him. I decided that I would give him 10 so that he could stay the night and have a little left over so it would be easier to get enough for the next night. He spots a loaf of bread and asks if I can maybe get him that as well for a little sustenance. I thought it was okay to get him that as well since he made a convincing argument. We try to get cash back at the till and they say that only the customer service till at the opposite side of the shop could deal in cash back. So we migrate over and then he has the audacity to ask for 20 euro from me to help the shelter. I said no, I can only give 10 euros to him and try to set a boundary for him. At this point, me and my friend are starting to get pissed because we were just meant to hang out in the town and go shopping. We get to the desk and try to get cash back only for it to not work since my card can't do cash back. At this point, I was willing to give up, but the homeless man says that there's an ATM towards the back of the shop. We head over there and access it, but it's out of order. I reluctantly gave him a 10 euro note from my wallet and thought that would be it, but no. This guy has the audacity to ask me to also top up his phone credit so that he could keep in touch with his twin brother. At that point, I tell him no and leave him at that. I'm pissed now because he tried to ask for more from me and try to milk me for what I'm worth. That ruined the mood for the rest of the day for me. I talk with my friend and family and then they said I was right in this situation and that I shouldn't have given him anything more than five euro. If you're gonna give the homeless or the homeless haggling you for more money, you shouldn't give him more than a coin's worth, e.g. two euro max, unless you're doing it for a genuinely good person. Person. It's better to give the money to a trusted homeless charity or a homeless shelter as they know what the homeless need more than the homeless themselves. Yeah, by a few paragraphs in, we could kind of see where this one was going. We've certainly seen stuff like this before. Uh, as the old adage goes, if you give a mouse a cookie, they're going to want a glass of milk. And I think we see that being applied in this situation. Hello, I wanted to record the food being made and post it to my page in exchange for $100 off the food. I can come today. But... You know we're in STL? I'm in STL also. I can come today around 4.30. I'm from STL. I have family here. I live in LA and here. So? Mm, thank you for your offer, but I don't think this collaboration will work for us, though. Ugh, worst dumplings ever. Such a floral taste to these. Ugh, taro dumplings taste like ass. Come on. Really? They don't give you $100 off your order, so you blast them on Instagram? Come on. Hi, Facebook. I'm looking for someone trustworthy with the weekend free to help out at an event over both days. Literally the easiest thing ever, but still want someone that won't bungle it. Can't promise pay, but lunch and dinner on me a couple times at least. Thanks. Yeah, just be my straight up employee slash slave for the weekend and I might buy you lunch or dinner a few times. This is a long shot. Admins, please delete if inappropriate. We own a two bed unit in Willoughby. We love our location and suburb. Our girls go to Willoughby Public and Willoughby Girls High. We're looking for more space for the next few years. Ideally a uh, four bed, but happy with a three bed. We are also building our home in the mountains financial advice is that we shouldn't rent. Just wondering if there's anyone here who is looking to downsize and if they would consider a house swap. You live in ours for a few years and we live in yours. We continue to pay for ours. If anyone's interested, please DM me. Okay, obviously a very weird request, but at least here's the silver lining here. They're still offering to pay for their house 
that they'd be swapping out of. But obviously no one's gonna take this offer. Is anyone willing to help me financially obtain this beauty as well as assist in transporting it into my place? I can't pay you back for it yet, but I will have it noted to do so once I'm able. Yeah, just jot that note down. It is a pretty heavy Japanese dresser, so they don't mind haggling, but seeing as I've been financially destitute since October, I'm unable to get it myself, and they're moving, like, now. It would mean so much to me to be able to have this. I have so many uses for it that would keep in my spiritual journey and trauma healing. I know that sounds weird to some, but it's the case. <laughs> yeah, you know they're getting pretty desperate and scraping the bottom of the barrel when they're using phrases like, my spiritual journey and trauma healing. Okay, apparently this is a conversation about a buyer who bought these pleaser heels, which I didn't know what they were, but I googled them. They're basically just like high heeled shoes. So let's see what this is all about. Oh, I can't even fit them. Sorry, can we swap back? Can you come back, please? I thought they were size nine, but my foot can't even fit in it. Can you come back, please? Sorry. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Are you going to come back? We're still here, in a hurry. Hello? I'm here with my baby waiting for you. At least message me back. Oh my god, you're so rude. I want my money back, and I'll send these shoes. I needed them for a shoot. You told me they were size nine, and these are like a six. I came all the way from Manukau. I'm just gonna report this. How disgusting of you. Still not even get a message. One, I was driving. Don't know about you, but I just don't use my phone while I drive. Two, they are a size nine. I'm a nine 10, and they fit me. The size is printed on the bottom of the shoe. Three, I would have considered turning around to come back had you not resorted to insulting me almost immediately after giving me the runaround this morning and changing times, etc. However, based on your above messages, I'm now more inclined to say it's your problem. So enjoy your new shoes. If they don't work for you, you can sell them. They retail much higher than $50, so maybe you can turn a profit. I never once insulted you. You're so disrespectful. I said I'm waiting here with my baby. Can you come back, please? Where did I insult you? How rude. Screenshot. You literally called me disgusting, but whatever. Enjoy and take care. When will people learn that berating someone over text is really just not the way to get your way? Like spamming them with messages and insulting someone is really not going to inspire someone to turn around and make the swap back from eBay or Facebook Marketplace or wherever this transaction took place. I will say I'm slightly disappointed in the participants of my Honeymoon Wishes website. I've gone and attended many weddings and given cash. We really could use the help, right, as our flight and travel has already been paid for, so peeps, please help out. We are having a big party afterwards, and I want to invite all that participate. Right, right, yeah, no, I'm sure people are scrambling to go to the donators only big wedding party or whatever. Also, I feel like there's a ton of content out there for like crazy wedding stories and crazy posts like this that involve wedding planning and stuff like that. Let me know if you guys enjoy that in the comments and I will track down some more and maybe we'll do a full video of that. So let me know. Okay, I read ahead a little bit and saw a picture of what this place looks like, but I'm gonna read it first and then we'll put the picture up on the screen just so you can try to envision what they're describing here. I'm renting out the tiny house slash meditation cottage on our property. You can use it for a dwelling if you'd like or as a studio slash art space. If using as a place to lay your head, I'll be asking $600. If you're going to be using it as a studio or art space, it'll be $400. We eventually want to make our property like a tiny village in preparation for us building a real village. Crossroads circle members get priority, but everybody else is welcome also. We would prefer to rent to individuals in our age group, and unfortunately it's situated in a space that won't be easily accessible if you have any physical disabilities. Ideally, whomever would be coming in would be somebody willing to help develop the property and make it prettier and more functional. I'll also give you a little plot to grow stuff on. Also, it needs a paint job, and you can paint it whatever color you want, and I will help you. If not, I'll paint it when I get a chance, but as most of us know, I'm busy as can be. And then we have this picture. This is one of those things, the more you look at it, the crazier it gets. 
Uh, I mean, the first thing that draws the eye is the toilet in the closet. Yeah, so $600, any takers? All right, I think we'll end it on that one. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like or just letting us know in the comment section down below. As I said earlier, consider subscribing. It really, really helps out. Thanks again for sticking around and we'll see you in the next one.